Hey, welcome back everybody. One-Eyed Sniper here. We are doing a Let's Play of Bioshock. Uh, so there's been a little wrinkle uh, so far. Basically, some of the areas we go to, there's uh, radios uh, that play uh, real-world old songs in it. Um, most recently was a Bing Crosby song. Uh, and that has actually caused me to get flagged for a copyright violation. Um, I think I've got it cleared up. YouTube has a pretty good editor where you can kind of take some of that stuff out. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I've lowered the music volume down considerably. Uh, what I was going to do is turn the music completely off, but this is a horror game and the music's important. It really does do a lot for the atmosphere. Uh, so I lowered the music down a lot and in any parts of the game where there's a uh, actual song playing, that's not just a game song, but a real life song playing, I'll probably either in the editor, lower the volume, or put another song that's YouTube friendly over the top of it. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see what works best. So if you happen to see a, or hear a song play that doesn't really belong, that's that's what that is. Um, that's me just trying to, to drown out that other song, and hopefully that works. Um, I didn't get a copyright strike, which is one of the really bad ones. I really what it's kind of just like a notification and uh, it has some effects on monetization um, but I kind of like to stay within the boundaries that YouTube sets so I'm going to try to avoid that um, but it's just kind of the nature of this game but anyways now that that's out of the way uh, we are here at Fontaine's Fisheries we've uh, managed to take down uh, one of the big daddies which was a Rosie uh, and get one of the little sisters there's two more in the level I probably won't uh, engage any of them anytime soon. As you can see, if you watched the last episode, it didn't go that well. Uh, so I'm pretty much out of Eve hypos, and we're really low on uh, health. So I'll probably leave the uh, Big Daddies alone for the time being. And it looks like there's another one. But yeah, that guy, I'm going to leave him alone. Uh, he's headed my way, though, making it more difficult. Let's go this way. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is stock up on as much armor-piercing stuff as I can, and hopefully we can upgrade some of our plasmids, too, and then we'll be a better match for uh, the big daddies. So our mission here, I believe, is we're headed to, we're supposed to go meet Atlas, whose family is, he's got in a submarine. So that's our goal right now. Just want to see if we've left any items hanging out under here. Alright, so we've reached our limit with uh, Buckshot, so we might as well use that. Also really low on money. Thought I, see some, thought I saw something shiny over here. So the other thing I'm not sure on is if the music that plays out of the radios, if that's actually considered music or one of the sound effects. So hopefully it's considered music. Because the sound effects I left where they were. Right, we've got a lot of items under the grates uh, that we may need telekinesis for, which I don't have right now. Trouble time. Give your little girl the life that she deserves. 
Boarding and education free of charge. After all, children are the future of culture. Is that an automated gun shooting at? It is. We got a camera up somewhere around here. Get out of here. All right, this is a gatherer's garden, so I want to get over there and hack that thing. Where are you at? I don't know why the game's glitching over there. If you guys can see that or not. Bad shot. Oh, come on with the shotgun. Hopefully I can upgrade this shotgun and get more than four rounds. Anyways, let's see if we can't take care of this. I got a little lost there for a second. I will execute judgment upon thee, coward! Alright, that guy's out of the way. I'm not sure where this guy's at. I don't know where you are. <laughs> there you are. Got lucky with the headshot there. All right, I don't see anything in the water around here so far. There we go. All pistol stuff that we can't use. Finish searching up around this machine gun, or rocket launcher, I should say. Who can blame a lady who craves variety? Yeah, that's one of those spider slicers, I think it's called. They've got some projectile weapons, if I remember right. Alright, let me check out underneath this thing real quick. Also, I do want to switch out to telekinesis.
can hack the keypad, huh? Let me get telekinesis first. I think that there's a possibility that if I can get that uh, tape player, it'll have the code on it. Alright, Machine Buster increases damage you deal to cameras, bots, and turrets. Alright, we definitely want a new plasma slot. Alright, we know that one. Curls creatures and objects back with a blast of force. I don't know why it says downloaded there. It must have came when I... Like, maybe an expansion thing from when I bought the game. Um, that one sounds pretty cool, actually. Let's just get another plasmid slot. And... This only costs one. Seems a little weird. Uh, when just yelling get back isn't working, it's nice to have some repelling force to back up your request. Sonic Boom when push comes to shove. Uh, nice. Knock foes back with hurricane force. Laugh as they bounce off the wall. Alright, so we got 179 left. Let's do an Eve upgrade. The winter Blast will probably be good. Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. That seems like a good one to pair up with, like using the wrench. Oh, maybe not. I guess if you throw someone to hit him with a shotgun, probably do the same trick. Uh, but I think we're good to go with what we have. And actually, you know, I been saying that I have trouble changing weapons. Well, I was going to say it's because I've been using the right joystick, but that's what it tells you to use. I don't know. It's weird. Alright, so let me use this telekinesis. We've got some items we want to get. Alright, that does not work through grates, so I'm going to try hacking this thing. Alright, this guy looks like he's been fairly well tortured. There's a smuggler. Reading it. Mr. Ryan asked me personally to make this clear to you. You give us Fontaine and this whole filthy ring of his, and you'll be knocking back pints up at the Fighting McDonough's. But if you prefer to play the mule, we'll treat you like a mule. Give him a taste, Patrick. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Change of heart, Timmy? <laughs> Timmy! Ready to talk now? Go on. Alright, so it looks like Fontaine and Ryan uh, were kind of at odds with each other. Uh, Fontaine probably was involved with the smuggling. Probably using Christianity here as a uh, cover for his smuggling, I'm guessing. 
Uh, so use exploding buck shotgun ammo to damage multiple targets. The other thing that it says is I'm supposed to use B to, uh, I'm sorry, X to drop an item once I've pulled it. But that's also what refills my Eve. And so if my Eve isn't already full, he'll take a shot, uh, which I don't want. I guess I can use that. I can do it that way. Just switch to my gun instead. Whoa, crap! What the... the hell did he come from? Scared the... shit out of me. <laughs> like he came out of here, but... That wouldn't make any sense, because there's a grate in the way. Let's see what's back in this direction. I'm glad you took the time to talk to me. Alright, so there are some items over here we should be able to get. Maybe. Listen to me. This is some of those guys that should be going for headshots with the pistol. Alright, can't do it through there. Let me see if I can do it through the floor. Which wouldn't really make any more sense. Alright, so we've got to... Well, that I can get through the grate, apparently. Ha! Huh, be cool if you could grab that. Alright, so it looks like we just have one place to head. I don't think we need to swap out any jeans. We're good there. Hopefully we'll find a grate where we can enter and under the floor. Maybe this is how we're supposed to do it. Doesn't seem likely, but there's a little uh, bot down there. Oh, here we go. Let's see where this leads. Crap. Hopefully, we got it in time. Alright, so this just gives us access to a drone. Which would be a fool not to take, I guess. Oops. 
see if it can make its way out of here. Alright, so let's see if we can't face this uh, new splicer. Not sure if this is the time where we're going to do it or not. That'll give me a chance to use Sonic Boom, which is a, apparently a brand new one. And one day the gentleman stopped calling. I guess she's going to have a little more of a better uh, intro than that. Huh? Go ahead and hack this. I hear something making like a sparkling sound, which usually means there's a plasma nearby. I think. Atlas radioed on ahead. Says you were looking for an invite to the fisheries. Nuts, I say. But if in your head's up to the Warp Master's office and find old Peach a research camera, maybe I could manage an invite. Well, what was that? My friend, you are fucked. That's nice. That doesn't really work that well. Come back down here, I want to try this. There we go. Alright, so let's see what we got for you. Oh, she's got some health on her. Alright, let's do a little fire here. I don't know what that means. That's not doing us any good either. Alright, anti-personnel rounds. Uh, just remember, Sunny friend, I smell it. Oh, I missed it. Grown man jumping at ghosts. Fontaine's dead, and everybody knows it. In the ground for months, and half the place still jumping at his shadow. Christ, even Ryan. You never mind all that. We got work to do. Alright, so we're supposed to go pick up a camera, and he gave us a grenade launcher. Uh, this grenade can only be fired from a grenade launcher, okay? Where does that fall? Right there. Alright, so this seems like a good place to end the episode. We got our uh, bot back, which is not doing well. It's on fire. Uh, yeah, so we'll end it here. I didn't hear any uh, third-party music. So that's good. I won't have to worry about that for this episode. But uh, alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Peace.